Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to do a review of multiplication and division. Actually, it's going to be a quick review as these topics were covered in pre-algebra. So let's get Charlie out and get going. All right, Charlie, here we go. Right there. Multiply. Three times four. Remember, three times four means three plus three plus three plus three, which is 12, right? Makes sense. Positive times a positive will always give you a positive. Well, how about negative three times four? Well, this time we're going to add negative three plus a negative three plus a negative three plus a negative three. And you see our answer is negative 12. Makes sense because a negative times a positive is negative, right? Okay. Well, how about three times a negative four? Well, in the first case, three times four, our threes were being added in the positive direction. But when we take three times a negative four, our threes are being added in the negative direction. And therefore, you, we get, as you see, negative 12, right? And that makes sense because positive times a negative should be negative. Now, some of you will likely look at this um, as negative four plus a negative four plus a negative four, right? And three times negative four by the commutative property of multiplication is the same as negative four times three. And some of you may see it that way. But either way, your fours are being added in the negative direction. So you do get negative 12, right? Okay. Well, here it is. Negative times a negative. Well, we know that's positive. Well, from the number line approach, remember, when we did uh, negative three times four, we counted our threes in the negative direction. But when we take negative three times a negative four, our threes end up getting counted in the positive direction. And therefore, we have three plus three plus three plus three, which does gives us the positive 12. Makes sense because a negative times a negative is a positive. All right, Charlie. Now, what about multiplying by zero? Charlie, what happens? Get zero. That's right. OK, so let's see. What's seven times zero? Zero. OK, x times zero? Zero. How about zero times zero? Zero. How about five halves times zero? Zero. OK, how about three eighths times zero times five sevenths? Zero. All right, that's because three eighths times zero is zero, and zero times five sevenths is zero, right, Charlie? What's your next exam score going to be? Zero. Uh -huh. no. All right, Charlie. Let's get back to work. Multiply. Here we're multiplying by reciprocals together, right? And seven ninths times nine sevenths, notice we can cancel those sevens. The common factor between two sevens is seven. So generally, sometimes people say cancel. Well, when you're canceling, they're becoming ones, right? And so we cancel the sevens, cancel the nines, and you see we end up with one over one, which is one. Three times one third. Again, we have reciprocals, because how do you write three as a fraction, Charlie? Three over one. That's right. And so we can cancel the threes, and again, we end up with one over one, which is one. OK, how about negative 5 halves times 4 thirds times negative 3 fourths? OK, notice here, we can cancel those fours out, right? And that becomes a one. We can also cancel those threes out, which become a one. And remember, a positive times a negative is a negative, so we get negative 1 for that result, right? Don't forget, it's multiplied by negative 5 halves. And a negative times a negative is positive. Anything times 1 is itself, so it's positive 5 halves, right? Notice over here, we have three negatives. Three negatives will always give you a negative result, right? Because negative times a negative is a positive, times an additional negative will give us negative. But let's write the 3 as a fraction. And we can cancel the 3's out. They become 1's. Now, you could have did the 3 and the 6. That's another approach, but we'll do it this way. But in here, we'll reduce the 2 and the 6. They have a common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we have a negative result. Remember, three negatives will give us a negative result. And on top, we have 1 times 5 times 1, which is 5. And we have on the denominator, 1 times 3 times 1, which is 3. So our answer is negative 5 thirds. OK, let's do a little division now. 6 divided by 5 sevenths. Let's write the 6 as a fraction. And remember, when we divide with a fraction, we multiply by the what, Charlie? Reciprocal. That's right. So we multiply by 7 fifths. Nothing cancels. So straight across the top, straight across the bottom. 42 over 5, right? Very nice. Now, 55 divided by 11. Well, let's look at, let's go back to law and division, okay? All right, we're taking 11 and we're dividing it into 55. With a calculator, here's how you do it. You put 55, hit your division button, hit your 11, and then hit your equals, right? Okay, and your answer should be 5. Well, 11 goes into 55 five times. 5 times 11 is what, Charlie? 55. 55 
and you subtract and you get a remainder of zero. So that's just a review of long division, really quick one here. Well, if we write it as a fraction, remember 55 divided by 11 as a fraction is 55 over 11, right? Which means 55 divided by 11 and that answer is five. There's a pattern here, watch. 55 divided by 11 is five because 11 times five is 55. That makes sense. That shows us that a positive divided by a positive is positive. Well, what about a negative divided by a negative, right? Well, what is negative 42 divided by negative seven, Charlie? Six. Positive six, right? That makes sense because negative seven times a positive six is a negative 42. So see that pattern holds there, right? Now, negative 54 divided by negative nine, right? Okay. Well, that's a positive what, Charlie? Six. That's right, because negative nine times six is negative 54. Okay. Negative 48 divided by six, Charlie. What's that result gonna be? Negative eight. Negative eight, right? That makes sense because six times a negative eight is a negative 48, right? All right. Now, how about negative 132 divided by 11? Negative 12. That should be a negative 12. It all comes down to knowing your times tables, right? Okay, so 11 times a negative 12 is a negative 132. Very nice there, Charlie. So, so that's about it for our quick review there. And let's take a break, and we'll see you all again soon.